Hello everyone, my name is Chene Okwama. I'm the Director of Operations here at the PATH Family Solutions Center uh, located in South Los Angeles. Um, here at PATH, we help people um, experiencing homelessness, find permanent housing, and provide case management, medical, um, and mental health care. Uh, we also do benefits advocacy, uh, case management, um, employment training, and other services to help uh, them maintain their home stability. And guess what? We have connected more than 9,000 people to permanent homes since 2013. So let's think about it. Um, have you ever wondered about how people end up sleeping outside? Um, can you imagine waking up every morning uh, without any access to the basic necessities that all human beings need to survive? Uh, well, it's sad to say that many people wake up experiencing these issues every day. Uh, but have you ever wondered if and how those people make it out of homelessness. Let's talk about it. Today, I'm going to um, inform you about what homelessness is, facts, causes, and effects of becoming homeless, and methods America has been taking um, in an attempt to resolve this largely urban problem. By the end of my speech, you will be well informed uh, with useful information about the root causes of homelessness in the United States. As a society, we may have an idea in our minds um, about what homelessness looks like, but in reality, there are many different types of homelessness that individuals with different kind of that affect individuals with different kinds of problems. Um, I'll now go into detail uh, and define what homelessness is, chronic homelessness, the facts and causes, effects of becoming homeless, and the steps um, that the U.S. as um, as a place has been taking to help resolve such a massive issue. Um, let's start off with what is homelessness. Um, most people tend to answer with people who do not have a home or live on the streets. Um, but see, the thing is, there are different definitions um, for homelessness um, employed in different contexts. Homelessness is generally defined as a people who lack a fixed, regular, um, who lack a fixed regular nighttime, um, I'm sorry, fixed regular adequate nighttime residence. Um, basically a person who has no consistent place to, to lay their head. People experiencing homelessness do not fit into just one general description. Um, however, they do share same basic needs uh, such as housing, adequate income, health care, and so forth. Um, according to the U.S. Conference of Mayors Hunger and Homelessness Survey, um, a status report on hunger um, and homelessness nationally, homelessness has been declining for several years, a 12.9% decrease from 2009 to 2016, including a 2.6% decrease from 2015 to 2016. Two-thirds of the studies of the study cities followed a long-term trend reporting decreases from 2009 to 2016 and two-thirds also reported decreases from 2015 to 2016. Um, but what's even more interesting is that children under the age of 18 um, are accounted for almost 39% of the homeless population. 42% of these children uh, were under the age of five. The sad truth about homelessness is that um, an access to resources is the system itself is made to fail. The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development estimates that we uh, that well over 500,000 people experience homelessness and many are given. Um, I'm sorry, 500,000 people experience homelessness on any given night in the United States. And to make matters even worse, in any given year, the U.S. Department of Education states that approximately, approximately 1.5 million of our nation's children experience homelessness. From children to adults, homelessness affects everyone. Um, let's make that very, very clear. And beyond homelessness, there are there's chronic homelessness, and I'm here to enlighten you. Uh, chronic homelessness is one of the four types of homelessness known to us. It is defined as a people who are experiencing or have experienced um, homelessness repeatedly while struggling with disabling conditions such as a serious mental illness, substance abuse, disorder, or physical disability. The cause of chronic homelessness um, run as deep as lack of effectively receiving appropriate um, continuing care, social isolation, 
poverty and extensive history of mental illness. Uh, when people think about homelessness versus unsheltered homelessness, um, sheltered homelessness refers to living within a homeless shelter or homeless shelters, uh, while unsheltered homelessness, according to the U.S. Conference of Mayors, is the number of people... Um, According to the U.S. Conference of Mayors, the number of people reported to be experiencing unsheltered homelessness in the U.S. decreased by 22.8% from 2009 to 2016. See, we tend to forget about the four different types of homelessness. Uh, the first is transitional homelessness. The second is episodic homelessness. The third is chronic homelessness, as stated earlier. And the fourth is hidden homelessness. Transitional homelessness um, is a state of homelessness that is a direct result um, of a major life change or catastrophic event. Then there's episodic homelessness, um, where people are currently unhoused or experience at least three periods of homelessness within a 12 month period. Um, those who confront the realities of chronic homelessness uh, usually experience four periods of homelessness within a calendar year. Um, finally, the individuals who live with others temporarily without a permanent home are considered hidden, hidden homeless because it often goes unnoticed because those individuals lack access to housing support resources and cannot be officially identified. They are considered hidden from the national statistics of homelessness. Homelessness is everywhere and is a prevalent issue caused by structural constraints that exist um, in all parts of America, specifically affecting minority groups like African-Americans. Um, African-Americans represent 30% of the general population, um, but constitute more than 40% of people experiencing homelessness. Um, now I'm gonna educate you on some of the key causes of homelessness with poverty being the most prominent cause. Housing inadequate income, very little public assistance or none at all. Addiction um, and less job benefits are significant in contributing, contributing to a person's homelessness. According to the National Law Income Housing Co Coalition, the largest cause of mass homelessness was roughly a 75% 70, reduction um, between 1979 to 1982 in federal funding to make housing affordable for poor people. Um, and this housing shortage has re repeatedly extended to the present day, which is a long time. Um, let's be real, we all have run into homeless people throughout our daily lives, whether we ran into them um, in parking lots, on the subway, gas station, or the street corners. Um, we all have encountered a few because they are everywhere. The real conversation is, has America taken um, measures um, to help resolve this issue? Um, and depending on who you are talking to, um, some would say no, while others would say yes. Um, I, can, I can mention how America has established home shelters, food assistance like EBT, food vouchers, housing vouchers um, to help resolve global issue of homelessness. Um, the thing is homelessness, homeless shelters have the tendency to refuse people um, assistance due to maximum capacities being met. I know in DC that's a very, very large problem. Um, therefore, um, some people cannot get into those homeless shelters. Um, so then they start to lose, you know, the usefulness. Um, if we're not helping as many people as we can, or there, there are caps on these homeless shelters, um, how can we, um, continue to truly help, um, so yeah, so lack of resources is, um, a huge, huge, um, factor. The point of this discussion um, was to inform you all about one of the most widespread and continuously growing public health issues in the United States. And in conclusion, being homeless presents many challenges, addressing the roots and causes um, and identifying the issue as a social phenomena um, is just the first step. It's imperative to know that almost any life crisis can um, precipitate homelessness. Um, I would like to formally thank you for listening to the information I've offered to increase your knowledge about homelessness in America. Um, I'm honored to have been able to educate and inform all of you on the epidemic of homelessness. Thank you so much.